Hello everyone and thank you for joining me for my new art journal video. In today's video I am creating an art journal page in this old book I had at home. In this book I will be creating more abstract art journal pages and I am also planning to decorate the cover page with some mixed media. So if you are new here on my channel don't forget to subscribe so you will be notified when I post a new video. And also if you like this video please let me know in the comment and I would also really appreciate thumbs up, it would help my channel to grow. Uh, but now let's get into this video. So as you could see I decided to glue two pages together because they are so thin and now I'm just adding pieces of pattern paper to create some texture in the background. After I glued those papers I also decided to add pieces of regular masking tape and then I covered the page with the gesso to prepare it for the paints and other medias. As you could see I didn't try to cover the whole page, I left some places just the way they were and I really like how the yellow color from the book just frames my entire page. And before I start applying the colors, I also added pieces of my favorite washi tapes to add another interesting layer. The paints I am using are acrylic paints by Liquitex and I really like them for projects when I want to create more like a watercolor effect. I am using lots of water with my paints and between each layer I will dry them with my heat gun. By the way, if you are curious about the supplies, check out the description box under the video, I will link all the supplies there. And by the way, at the end of the video you could see some close-up shoots, so if you want to see all the little details on my page, don't forget to check them out. After I was happy with the colors, I added a few white paint splashes and now let's get into the stenciling. As you could see, I am adding a little bit of baby powder into my modeling paste to make it a little bit thicker, so it would dry faster and now I am using my favorite script stencil. And while the modeling paste is still wet, I sprinkled some glitters on top of it, so it would give the stenciling even more dimension and also a little bit of shine. Now I am just writing on the piece of cardstock my quote. For that I am using my black micron pen and I also added gold gel pen on top of it. Before I glue those paper to my page, I also added some distress ink around the edges. The last step is to add some splashes with gold acrylic paint and here you can see how my page turned out. 
Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you like this page, let me know in the comments what do you think and I will see you in my next video, bye bye!